Hey, what's up? David here with After Vivex, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. How have you all been? Um, just been really busy lately with my job and just uh, just doing occupying other things in my life. So, um, but I had some free time now, so thought I'd make a nice tutorial. And what better way is to create some balloons because everyone likes balloons. So, uh, this is what we're going to be creating. This is it's just a still image in Blender. Uh, we got some. Nice detail with the balloons. We got our uh, reflection, subsurface scattering. We got nice uh, lighting here and a uh, pretty straightforward tutorial. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to delete the default cube here and I'm going to add a UV sphere. Okay, I'm going to go into the front view. And before I forget, I'm going to turn on my screen key so you can see what I'm typing. All right, so I'm going to go into edit mode. Uh, go into wireframe view, turn on proportional editing, and uh, I'm just going to hit this last uh, point here, hit G, and uh, just move it down along the uh, z-axis here, so just get a nice balloon here, like that, might move it a bit more, Cool, like that. Hit Control Two, so we add sub uh, subdivision like that. And if we go into edit mode once more, I'm gonna add in a. So if you hit Shift and then right click, that will snap the cursor to here. We're gonna add a. Um, let's add a circle, and we're just gonna turn off proportional editing. And we're just going to scale it down around like uh, here's pretty good. And we're going to hit E, make Z, and extrude it down. And we're going to extrude it again. This time we're going to scale it up like that. And we're going to E, extrude it down once more. I'm going to hit F to have a face to it, and we're going to hit I, and we're going to hit S, and just scale down. So we're creating this face here, like that. And if we go into wireframe view, we're going to hit E again, extrude it up, like that. Okay, so we've got this, like, nice little... Uh, I guess like end here for the balloon. Um, might make this a little smaller, like that. Okay, and I might make this small as well, like that. Okay, and if we just hover over it and hit L, L for lamp, we hit G then Z and just move it up, like that. Okay, so that is our balloon right there. I might make this a little bigger. Like that. Okay, just scale it down. So that is pretty much our balloon. I might make this a little small as well. So hit L to hover over the balloon. Just scale it down. And then hit and then just hit GZ. Oops, GC. Um, let's move it up like that. Okay, that looks looking pretty good. And we hit Shade Smooth. Okay, and just move it up, hit Control A, apply the scale so we don't get any proportions. Okay, and then hit shift and then right click here again. This time we're going to add in a um, mesh single vert, add single vert. Okay, if you don't have this, I believe it is the, if you go to file preferences, oh no, sorry, edit preferences, and this is uh, add extra objects, so add curve. Okay, so just click that. Make sure it's not in your sphere and make sure to treat it as a separate object. And we're going to hit control 
And we're just gonna make a nice uh, path here for our string. So we can just might play around with these a little bit. Like that. Okay, so we got this string here. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is hit Control 2 again to add subsurf. And we're going to add skin. And then we're going to add another subsurf, which is hit. Okay, we're going to turn on smooth shading. Go into edit mode for this. Go to wireframe, hit A, and Control A, and just scale it down. Okay. It's a lot of shortcut keys, but um, it should be okay. Yeah, it's pretty easy to memorize. Okay, so that is pretty much our string right here. Just, just tap out of head edit mode, and we're just gonna position it until it looks pretty proportional with our. We might just scale it up a bit. And then just like that. Okay. Cool. All right. So we're just going to uh, make cont control P and control V. All right. So these are backups. So I'm just going to make a new collection. Call this balloon uh, object. Backup. Okay, so we're going to copy that into here. Turn it off and put in our collection. Plus balloon. Okay, and then what we're going to do is let's go ahead and add our materials to this. So I'm going to slide this shader across here. And let's give this a new material. We'll rename this as balloon mat. Okay, and then what we're going to do is get the color ramp effect. Plug it into the base color. Uh, maybe a few colors to this. So I'm going to go constant. And then we're just going to add in maybe like a few of these. I'm not going to do the math for how much I have to evenly distribute it, but I'm just going to give a rough estimate just by eyeballing it. And we can do some colors. So we can go like red, we'll leave that as white. We can go maybe blue here. Maybe I'm going to go with a little bit of bit more blue here, we'll go green, we'll go yellow, and we'll go orange for this. Okay, and maybe I'll replace the white with pink, hot pink. Okay, like that. And I'll plug this into the subsurf color as well. Uh, subsurf color. Okay. And I'm going to turn on down the roughness so that we get a bit of nice reflection here. Maybe 0 0.5. 0 0.1. Something like that. And I'm going to add a bit of subsurf. We can get a little bit of light passing through that. Okay. And for this one, we're going to add in a new material called a string. And we're just going to do basically the same thing as this. Okay. Very simple material setup. And then I'm going to parent our string to the balloon. So if I hit, so if I click on it and then hit shift and then the balloon, hit control P, object. 
So now when I move this, uh, the balloon will be applied. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and just look at my world view. Let's go to the environment. Put that in. Control T. And let's open it up. And I think the one I used was this Sky HDR. So click on that. If we go into our sh window view, I might change this to Cycles GPU. I might turn this down to like 64, 32. Then we'll go to denoise. Okay, so we're getting some nice. Uh, shaders here okay that's looking not too bad all right cool so let's just bring that back across jump back to my viewport here um okay so let's go ahead and make a new collection so i'm going to go and write new collection and we'll call this um balloon object Geo node. Okay. Put this in our balloon collection. And I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna duplicate this so control. So I'm gonna control D. Just shift it. Oops, I duplicate the light. Okay, and then I'm going to go into edit mode here. What I'm going to do is create some variants for this string here. So I might just just make it a little bit twirly like that. Okay, and maybe even with the size of the balloon. Um, I just stretch it out on the Z axis a little bit to make it a little bit taller, like that. And then like that. And maybe I can duplicate it again. This time I'm going to rotate this. So R. The maybe like 90 degrees like that and then just play around with the settings here and then just like maybe squeeze it in a bit and make it a little fatter And you know what? I might actually make this a bit thicker. All right, so we have a bit of variance with our balloons here. Okay. And what I'm going to do is apply all of our um, settings to it. So what I'm going to do is... Hit Control A A A, and hit Control A A A A A. Okay, so now that I've been applied, and what I want to do is make these uh, one layer. So Control J. So now they're just one layer. Control J. Oh, whoops. Control J. J. This one to apply. Okay, cool. So now there's just one layer. I want to copy these into my object on uh, balloon info geo node. Okay. And what I might do is add a bit of transparency to this. So go in here. 
might add in a mix shader, add in transparent. So we can see a bit of that sky in between. That looks pretty cool. 8.5. Let's go with that. Cool. All right, so that's looking really nice. And um, I might play with my camera angle now. So just hide this and then shift as cursor toward origin. Might just position my camera like around here. And I want to rotate it pointing up, up into the sky, rotate it just a little bit so it's parallel with our Y axis. Okay, I go into the world. And then what I want to do is I want to try and get this sun In the corner here, so just move it across. Something like that. Maybe the, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Okay. So now that we've got our sky uh, all set up, let's go ahead and make a new cube. This is what's going to be used to um, as our geometry nodes. So I'm just going to go into here and scale it on the. Like that. Okay. Let me just move it back on the x axis. And what I'm going to do is edit mode. I want to subdivide this. So subdivide the 10. And we'll just subdivide again. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to go into white paint. And I'm just going to paint the front of my uh, cube here. So, just paint along here, like that, okay, and I just want to get, subtract all of this, like that. Okay, cool. Okay, so that concludes the first part for this balloon tutorial. Next part, we'll be looking at how we can use geometry nodes to set up our scene here. We'll also be doing some lighting as well. And finally, we'll just be um, fiddling with the render settings and setting up our compositing uh, node setup for the final render. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in that video.